Hello, my name is Carolina Schinke from the Myeloma Center at the University of Arkansas in Little Rock. I am pleased to present updated results of Dalcetumab in patients with relapsed or refractory multiple myeloma in the Monumental 1 study. Dalcetumab is a first-in-class, off-the-shelf, T-cell redirecting bispecific antibody directed against the novel antigen GPRC5T. GPRC5T is highly expressed on malignant plasma cells, but has limited expression on normal plasma cells and normal human hematopoietic cells. As previously reported, Talkitimab demonstrated overall response rates of greater than 70% in the pivotal cohorts of patients with relapsed or refractory multiple myeloma, and an overall response rate of 62.7% in patients who have received prior T-cell redirection therapy. These are particularly um, patient populations with an unmet medical need. Here we present updated results of the Manomental uh, 1 study. The current results report data from both phase one and phase two of the Manomental 1 study. In phase one, patients were intolerant to or had progressed on established therapies. In phase two, patients had exposure to three or more prior lines of therapy, including a proteasome inhibitor, immunomodulatory drug, and anti-CD38 antibody. Three cohorts were assessed. Two cohorts that had not received prior T-cell redirection therapy and received the recommended phase two doses of 0.4 milligram per kg weekly and 0.8 milligram per kg every other week. And a third cohort that had received prior T-cell redirection therapy and received either dose schedule. The primary endpoint was overall response rate. As shown on the table, Patients in the prior T cell redirection therapy cohort were younger, had more plasma cytomas, and had a higher prevalence of high risk cytogenetics compared with the pivotal cohorts. Across all cohorts, over 70% of patients were triple class refractory, and 23 to 41% were pentadrug refractory. Most patients were refractory to their last line of therapy. Overall response rates were over 71% in the pivotal cohorts with with approximately 60% of patients achieving very good partial response or better. Overall response rate was 64.7% in the prior T-cell redirection cohort, and 55% of these patients achieved very good partial response or better. Overall response rates were 75% for patients receiving prior CAR T-cell therapy, and 44% for patients receiving prior bispecific antibody therapy. Overall response rates were consistent across clinically relevant subgroups, except in patients with, with baseline plasmocytomas, where overall response rate was 31 to 49%. Median duration of response was not reached in the every other week dosing cohort in 9.5 and 11.9 months in the weekly and prior T-cell redirection cohorts, respectively. The 12-month duration of response rate in patients who achieved complete response or better was 79% or greater across the cohorts, the 12-month progression-free survival rate was 54% in the every other week dosing cohort and 35% and 38% in the weekly and prior T-cell redirection cohorts, respectively. The 12-month overall survival rate was 63% or greater across all cohorts. Common adverse events included cytokine release syndrome, dysgeusia, and skin and nail-related events. ICANS occurred in 10 to 11% of patients in the pivotal cohorts and in 3% of patients in the prior T-cell redirection cohort. Low rates of dose reductions and discontinuation due to adverse events were observed across the cohorts, including those due to skin and nail-related events and dyscusia. Most high-grade adverse events were cytopenias, which were generally limited to the very first few treatment cycles. Across the cohorts, grade 3 Four infections were below 30%, discontinuations due to infections were 2% or below, and rates of opportunistic infections were less than 6%. Anti-drug antibodies were detected in 20 to 35% of patients across the cohorts, but did not impact the pharmacokinetics, safety, or efficacy of tolkedomab. In conclusion, tolkedomab continues to demonstrate deep and durable responses in patients with relapsed refractory multiple myeloma, including patients with prior T-cell redirection therapy. Rates of very good partial response or better were observed in over 55% of patients across all cohorts. 
12 month duration of response rates in patients with complete response or better were 79% or better, and 12 month overall survival rates were 63% or better across the cohorts. A modest impact on severe infections and neutropenia suggests a non overlapping adverse event profile with other non immune therapies, supporting further investigation into telcatamab, including in combinations. And with that, I thank you very much for your attention.